All right, here we go. Back so, again. Yeah. What are we talking about here? So I was telling you that um, initially when I got excited about the new Michigan spearfishing uh, regulations, I was looking and I found videos of guys uh, spearfishing. Or they were spearfishing for like trash fish, but they skull, saw schools of walleye um, around some of these wrecks. Wait, this is good to know. So you can legally spearfish in these areas. You just can't take those fish. Right. You can still do the trash fish. So I think this is oh, totally that's worth exploring. Of these. course. I was going to say, even if we couldn't, I thought it would be worth exploring just for the sake of like seeing how these schools of fish react yeah, or like right. kind of get an idea, like, you know, a, a feel for them. Yeah. As a species. Shooting at them, yeah. Right? And just see what's the deal and how to get close to them and see what, you know, what are indications that you know perhaps we could find them here right but in a place where we can actually legally yeah uh, you know take them with underwater spear you know yeah and then you can still take drum or whatever you saw so this is all yeah you know available by google but here's these wrecked names so you can see some of them are kind of shallow and then some of them are super deep but um you can look all this stuff up but wow we can get a lot to a lot of those i mean any of those up to the 45 foot uh depths we can yeah. see like that anna c we can see that 36 yeah. to 45 we can get down there and see it you know even those ones that are 60 to 75 you can get down low enough to kind of see them from above them you know that's pretty awesome i'd love to see some wrecks out there man and i found this too i was just looking for like structure in lake michigan you know so i found this too um, definitely like to check out these reefs over here off the um, city. There's Morgan Shoal. And there's Man made reef. reefs in Lake Michigan. Look at this yeah. information. Where did you find this one? Now, this is south of Grand Haven, but it's a nuclear oh, plant. No, 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 no. Where do we go? take me there? So that outlet is going to be warmer water, and the fish are going to feed there throughout the year. Yeah. They're known, the fish are known that hang out around those outlets, you know. They have three eyes, and they're the biggest fish that you can spearfish. Just don't yeah. eat them, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cooling water, you know. I, theoretically, there's no nucle nuclear waste leaking out of there. We used, to, we used to fish there in LaSalle nuclear power plant. see all right don't need all that thanks That's where's cool. the exhaust water well this is where we need navionics because it would tell us exactly where it is okay but i mean well just in terms of can you expand that expand it yeah for sure awesome this is a bunch of state park around it Is this Thornton Valley Drain parking down here? Okay, there's a gate, no problem, man. We'll just off road down here. There you go. We'll take it four by four down here and park. All right, well, I've been looking for spots south of Grand Haven, like a reason to go to a particular spot exactly. to check it out. And that's at least one. We're going to find stuff, man. There's got to be stuff out there. I'm so I think we're just like jumping out. Hey, look, man, it looks like we got access here. Let's jump out and just swim it real quick. Just see. And Yeah, I mean, the key is, like you said, structure. It's When you're talking about just jumping in over a beach, you know. Man, I just think about over here. It's just sand forever. There is yeah, no structure Yeah, that's what I'm all. trying to say. And it's like probably going to be. not a wreck or something then there's, there's it's, nothing it's there. that structure there just isn't well we may have to get you know started with the uh, with the uh, rough fish you know up by the rocks yeah i mean how cool would it be to die i mean rocks, we were cool uh, with know, that and it's you know in make itself, for great footage so. and people will love it you yeah. know we'll love it and all the while we know that we can go up here and that 
we can reasonably expect to get onto something, figure something out. I would like to, if they're saying that there's an over population yeah. of these fish. They're I would eating like to too many perch. Guys who are looking for them, you know, and here's structure. You know there's structure right here. Those two right. big islands, yeah, right. you know, I mean, swimming between those islands, there's going to be all kind of fish teamed up in there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, like, that's the first trip. But if we can get, you know, in the water, you're saying, yeah. oh, let's go, you know. But this weekend, what are we going to do? We're just going to go get, we're going to try and get in the water on Sunday and just test the boat out or what? Yeah. Or it's too, uh, no, we can do it, right? I think if we get an early start, it's reasonable that we can go do it double check the weather and stuff tomorrow yeah make sure it's not too crazy we should call our buddy al and see if he, if he has any advice on how to get the big carp in lake michigan you know oh except the, the fact of the matter is the props are upstairs to do that all right and my phone's upstairs we can shut this one down we got this you okay know? i don't have anything teed up exactly yeah we can bring that one up if we uh feel the need might have a 